classroom is a technique where um, what you used to do at home you now do in the class and what we used to do in class you do at home so lectures are never done in my classroom they're always done at home through short five or ten minute videos and then the students come in and we apply what they learn today's e-lesson is all about how scientists communicate numbers tomorrow we're going to practice some use of numbers in science and hopefully you'll become more familiar with these concepts if the goal of science is to understand our natural world then it's a fundamental goal of a scientist to communicate their learnings with others. In order to do this, it's desirable to have a standard way to communicate data. Uh, I think it gives the kids a deeper understanding because they actually have more time to apply the information. Kids who um, learn slower or need more time to absorb concepts can rewind the video, Can they, they can go search for vocabulary. Um, kids who write very slowly when you do PowerPoints in class. You're always waiting for that last kid to go, excuse me, can you show that slide again? So it works for really quick learners, really slow learners, and it also lets kids learn at the time of day that's best for them. If they're a morning person, they can watch the lesson at 6 o'clock in the morning. If they're a night owl, they can watch it at you know 2 o'clock in the morning. So it's not um, forcing them to learn in my way. It's, forcing, it's allowing them to learn in a way that's com comfortable and convenient to them. To me, I honestly thought that it was so much easier because we would watch the videos at home and like you'd have to take down notes, which she would check for like a homework grade. I like it because it's very flexible with your time and you can basically do it whenever you want and I also like that you could like pause the video and you could just go at your own pace so like so you're not like interrupting the class and you're not like if you don't understand it you could like go back and just rewind it and stuff and you could even google information.